Hi guys, it's Barnaby, it's spurred on and it is the end of transfer deadline day. That's right, it's just gone six o'clock. Sky Sports News has gone into meltdown. Spurs fans have gone into meltdown and that's because after all the promise and all the time and all the reports, we bought nobody, precisely nobody. In fact, we're a bit of a laughing stock right now because we've got one striker left for the first six months of the season. And that striker is Harry Kane. And let's be honest, he looks tired. He went to the under-21 championships in the summer. He didn't score there. He hasn't scored in the first four games. And now all the pressure is on him and nobody else. Sure, we've got Clinton and we've got uh, Hung Min Son. And they can play maybe wide forwards, but they're not out-and-out -out strikers. What's stopping us from getting... Charlie Austin for 15 million once it became clear that Berahino wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen because Jeremy Pete, Jeremy Peace, the West Brom chairman, just did what Daniel Levy did to Luka Modric. He said, no, it's not going to happen. And Daniel Levy winding him up wasn't going to help matters. And then Berahino has come out and tweeted and said he'll never play for Peace again. And it's all kicked off and all just because he wouldn't spend the money. Now, questions can be asked. Do we have the money? We're building the stadium. And there's something to be said for that. But the truth is, if you want that player and you need that player, you go and buy that player. 25 million, 28 million, whatever it takes, you go and buy it. We've sold all the deadwood this summer. We've got all that money off the wage book bill. So if you can think about it and we're saving 200 grand a week on wages, how much? it doesn't take that long for that to count for a couple of million. So pay that, that couple of million towards Berahino. It's pretty simple. The Adebayor thing is also a joke as well. Adebayor is just sitting there saying he's desperate to play football, wants to go to West Ham. Well, mate, you're not that desperate to play football, are you? Because all you actually care about is the five million quid that you're getting for the rest of your contract for the next season. Well, I'm sorry. Sure, five million is a lot of money, but mate, you're a multi-multi-millionaire. You don't need that money. You claim to care about kids in Africa and your family who and how you grew up uh, and coming from difficult upbringing and stuff like that. What kind of, what kind of role model is this? Or are you? You know, it's, it's pretty disgraceful, I think. If you want to be a role model and you want to play football, you want to score goals as a 30-something-year-old man now, go and prove it. Go and do it. Don't just sit on your money. I think it's disgraceful. Meanwhile, in other news, uh, on DeAndre Yedlin has gone to Sunderland on a year loan. I think that is good business all round. It worked for Danny Rose, it can work for him. And it's very much looking like Aaron Lennon will go to Everton for around four and a half million. And I say good luck to you, Aaron. Uh, you've been a great servant for Tottenham for nearly 10 years. Uh, you were the young, one of our youngest ever players to play for us. And you know, you've given us a lot of great times. So thank you very much to Aaron Lennon. But just to finish off this transfer deadline for Spurred On about Tottenham Hotspur, it's a story of might have been as far as I'm concerned because with just a couple of additions, if we'd allowed, you know, if Levy had allowed himself to get Berahino and even maybe push the bow out and get Austin again as well, then you're looking at having three genuinely strong and feared strikers. And that back in the day when Redknapp was manager, we had four of them and people were saying it was too much. Well, now we've got one of them. You know, it's a bit of a joke, I'm afraid. Uh, I understand we have the stadium to build, so I'm not going to go on full rant mode, but it's pretty ranty because this is a bit of a joke. And if Harry Kane does get injured, you know, God knows. Uh, the Spurs fans are already in meltdown, so God knows how Levy will, will deal with that. There'll be protests and stuff, I'm almost sure of it. Anyway, guys, let me know if you agree with what I had to say in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.